What's going on everybody and welcome back to One Way Bay. We're in for another episode. We're episode 102 actually. That is insane to me, but we're back and we're still going with the One Way City Challenge, of course. Uh, I know in the last episode I promised that we were going to work on um, Farmville today and add some housing and a cargo depot, but things came up, so we, uh, we have to deal with them. And that is the new DLC called Match Day from Paradox. Yes, there is a free DLC out there for anyone who owns the game. And if you don't by now, come on, pick this game up. It's amazing. Uh, you can sink so many hours into this game. But yes, basically, it gives us a football stadium. That is soccer for anybody who watches American football. Um, the... <laughs> The wrong football. Mm, I'm gonna get some hate from that one, but uh, yeah, and uh, we're gonna need to place said football stadium and kind of deal with the m the uh, match day fundamentals and game mechanics. So I was looking, and I was like, where are we gonna put this thing? Actually, I guess I should show you it. It's in unique buildings, and it is right here. Uh, where are we gonna put the football stadium? It's pretty large, actually. It's if you go over to the old stadium. It's probably twice, maybe three times as large. Um, so we're going to need a spot to put it. And I was looking around the city. And basically, everything downtown probably already used up. And probably not really good. So I was looking and I was like, we should put it over here. We'll make this area really cool, like an entertainment uh, river nook zone area. Something like that. And uh, as you can see... I already started, and I went ahead and did a couple things. I flattened the land out here. I, If you notice down here, I let the game run for a while, basically on autopilot. I tabbed out, nothing blew up, and we got a ton of money. So, we're pretty good to go here. Actually, we're getting enough money in right now that we could probably turn that international airport back on. But I digress. Um, I put the walls in on the river, just similar to the Posh Mall. And then I came over here, and I tweaked the highway a little bit. At first, I was like, we'll just run the highway off of this access. And then I was like, looking at it, and it's not really that feasible to do. I mean, we could definitely draw people off of the highway this way. But when you're talking about getting people from the southbound lane over to here, it's fairly annoying, if not impossible to do. Uh, it would just become spaghetti. This intersection, or this little off-ramp area, looks pretty decent for what it is. It's crammed into this very small nook, and it's a very, very modified trumpet, I believe, is what these are called. But, um, yeah, I didn't really want to mess with that. So, instead, we're going to go ahead. I made a small T interchange that went right here. I took the elevated highway down under the, under the little uh, railroad mound here, and then it comes back up over here. All is well. Nothing broke. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to figure this one out. So... The, mm, I almost said mod, it's not a mod, it's an actual official game release. The stadium uh, promises to bring crowds in, and uh, y you actually get to pick your team colors, I, be uh, I believe. And actually, if you look down in the bottom right of these little pop-ups, they now have a visitor capacity. So this one's 600. I also noticed that in a couple of these things, actually, wow, we have the luxury hotel now? And the zoo. We should probably put those in as well. How big is the zoo? That is not a very large zoo at all, actually. Should we put that around the aquarium somewhere? We could probably put that, like, there. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know on that one. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Some of the parks. Not these. The actual parks. There's a couple things in here. Like this, uh, botanical garden. That's got a visitor capacity of 225. And then some things like a carousel and a bouncy castle park that I don't know where we would put these in our city and uh, actually this is new too a dog park wow I didn't even notice that one uh, people come to walk their dogs cool raises the land value awesome where should we put a dog park actually you know what up here wasn't would not be a bad idea just because there's literally nothing up here so yeah right there dog park check it a brand new park for people to come walk their dogs. And look, it's fenced off and everything. People can come in and leave their dogs and... Well, don't don't leave your dogs at the dog park. That's probably almost as bad as leaving your dog in a car with the windows up. 
I'm just gonna be honest. Okay, let's get back to the stadium. We have enough money to place it, if I can find it. There we go. And we're gonna place it, I believe, right... Hmm, how do I want to do this? There? Is that... That's a decent spot. I wanted to kind of keep it centered, but I think if we pull it off to the left here of this uh, wall area, we can then put parking around the sides of it, which is probably a good plan. Um, I started to say that the they promise a lot of traffic and pedestrians to come down for the matches, so I'm looking forward to that. We already got a glimpse of that because we used the uh, Rush Hour mod, so we kind of know how that experience goes. What is going on here? I'm trying to get this leveled, and it's not... Oh, there it is. Okay, that's pretty good. Wow, these people are upgrading like crazy, which is great. Um, anyway, <laughs> I keep getting distracted by things. All right, the stadium is going in here. Also, now that it's in, boom, we need to name this bad boy. What should we name our stadium? Whoa, check that out. Okay, let's turn it off right now. Um, wow, matches are canceled. You can raise the ticket price. This is awesome. And wow, we can actually change the color of... Whoa, look at that. You can change the color of your team and the seats all change. That is awesome. So let's do some sort of blue that kind of resembles my channel color. Light blue, I like that a lot. Um, this is awesome. And then subsidized youth. By spending money on training the young players, you have increased odds to win. This is exactly what I wanted. I called for this, like, after the first DLC. People were putting threads on Reddit, like, what do you want to see? And I was like, sports team. Let's get a sports team, and if your team does well, it'll draw a bigger crowd. And that's exactly what this looks like it's going to do. This is awesome. All right, let's 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 develop the area first. Um, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's. I'm thinking about putting the triple parks in here, so we'll leave three spots here. Here, we'll go ahead and put the parking lot in if I can find it. It should be around here somewhere. There it is. Boom. Triple park there. And then that is just not enough room for one. So let's put... Mm, should we do two triple parks? Or should we do a double park right behind it? Where is the double park? It's this one, I believe, right? Yes, the double park. And then we'll get like two of these back to back. That could be kind of cool. And then we'll probably, yeah, put that there. And then we'll draw this out a little bit. Um, and I need to just, why is this not snapping? Oh, it's probably because the, the quays, the key quays, the walls, if you will, kind of being annoying. Anyway, um, let's draw these out. I guess this is just going to be annoying. So, oh, wait, I almost got it. I just need it to come over here just a slight amount. Okay, there it is. Like that, and then that. It's a little wonky, but it's definitely gonna work. And of course, we'll spin this around. Eh, yeah, okay. I kind of envisioned a little bit of this before recording here, and I'm hoping that it can like come to fruition here. Okay, what's going on? Give me the tool. Where's the tool? There's the tool. Okay, we need to... Do a little bit more landscaping out throughout here, and actually, what is going- Why is this all weird? Oh, you know what? That went down. Hmm. Maybe we'll just smooth it out. It'll give it more of a natural feel, I think, if we smooth this out. And actually, I don't know. If we if we pull this road up, is that going to snap it back up? It might. Hmm, kind of. Anyway, okay. So the highway needs to come in and basically unload a bunch of traffic and then the whole system throughout the parking lots and stadium concession areas that we are probably going to set up need to then funnel out and out to the uh, highway. So let's figure that one out. This highway is also going to be really good because we'll be able to fill this up with a village. And actually, let's take the trees away for now because they're not going to be doing much for us except getting kind of annoying. So we'll take this out. But, you know what, we'll actually go ahead and place some trees throughout this area. Uh, I like keeping this over here as more of a wooded area. It's just going to do a lot better. It's going to basically make a natural divide from 
this highway. So it's not going to look like we just arbitrarily pulled the highway over through here instead of going more directly to here. It's going to look like, oh, they didn't do that because there was a big forest in the way. Kind of. A little bit of a forest, at least. I don't know. Uh, in my mind, that's what it's going to be. But, you know, whatever. Uh, I also don't like having trees like that in between the highway. Just for reasons. I don't know. It's a little pet peeve of mine. But anyway, let's then draw this highway out. Of course, it's not going to be straight. You know what? I don't like that. I want this to kind of be straight with this. So you know what? Instead of putting the highway down first, I'm going to drag this out to here first. And then we'll link the highway up after. So, yeah. Okay, so basically, we're going to do some parking throughout here. Lots of parking, actually, hopefully, and make it look good. And then we'll go ahead and open the stadium up and see what this thing is all about. I'm hoping that it is as awesome as I think it is. Where is the double park? There it is. Um, yeah, and then we'll go through. I'll go through this later and kind of make this better throughout here. But actually, right now, it doesn't look that bad, does it? I don't think so. Um, okay. What else? We need a couple really big parking lots. Uh, do we want to put the parking garage in? You know what? Yes. We'll put the big parking garage in. Where is it? This one. We'll put this in over here. And then it'll be a double, like it'll be a back-to-back -back parking garage. This is going to be cool. Trust me. We'll go ahead and pull this over like this. And then the parking garage will, I'm trying to get it to fit between this little intersection here. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to work. It is now. Boom. Nice. So then we'll take this... How how long is this parking garage? That's a good question to ask. This one is 8 U's, so we'll go 16 down, and then we'll pull this over here. And of course, the river is raging into the area that I'm trying to work in right now. That's kind of a pain. Why are you so annoying? Let's uh, go ahead and put these back to back. These look really cool back to back. They look like one really, really big parking garage. And that's kind of what I'm aiming for here. Okay, so how are we going to do this whole highway over here? Uh, how are we going to do this? Let me think. Let's face it. This stadium is massive. It, we can expect a ton of people to come to the park or blah, to come down to the stadium for a game. And if the citizens of One Way Bay or anything like the European citizens they are going to love their soccer. So, we are going to need to expect that. So, we're going to need to build as many parking lots as po yeah, as possible. Why is it so hard to talk right now? This looks awesome already, I think. It's looking good already is what I'm trying to say. So, this will go around like this. This will then go out this way. We'll get a flow of people going out of here. And then, basically, we'll bring the flow through here, and then out here. It's gonna work, trust me. Yeah, we want to do grass because we don't want people parking on the sides of the street here. We want people using the parking lots because that's what they're there for, right? Yes. So, alright. Do I have any other interesting parking lots? Kind of. Do we want to do something kind of cool over here? I think this might be a good idea. Hear me out. If we do a couple of these little parking lots with the paths connecting, we can then maybe make just a pedestrian path up to here. And then maybe make a crosswalk over here. That's a really good idea, actually. We'll do this. I'll use the little crosswalk trick that I know. And if you guys don't know it, you go over to here like that. You lay down a street that... Or not a street. A uh, piece of road that is not grass and it creates these cool crosswalks so if you guys didn't know that one my gift to you that is a really cool tool to use and I highly recommend using it so um there we go we'll then make kind of like a pedestrian walk up to there and then we'll on the other side of this make another street come out of here like this I think how this is a two unit park Yes, so we want to go at least three over. 
and then down to here. We'll go over to here. Nope, we'll go over across like this, and then pull this up here like this. This is very entertaining work, I know. But this is the price you pay for doing something right in this game, right? Yes. Um, let's distribute these a little bit more. Let's put this one about here for now. And then we'll pull this one down to here. And we'll pull one more of these and probably put it right about there. So yeah, that, that works pretty well. And then, of course, we'll go through with our pedestrian path. And finish these out. Actually, uh, I screwed that up. We'll go out like this. They should connect up, and then people will be able to walk down this little area. We'll put bushes and trees in later, but there we go. Let's, you know what? Instead of going through and doing the rest of these parking lots, let's hook this up now. Let's figure this out and get this started so we can at least see what this is all about. So there we go, a nice little S-Bend. That actually came out really smoothly, and I'm really proud of that. And hook the highway up, and then we'll turn this stadium on. Let's, let's do this. This is cool. This is awesome. Actually, for just slapping that together, that came out really well. Alright, so let's turn this on. The football stadium, you guys need to name this in the comments. Please, please name it. Uh, it's gonna be really cool. We'll just get some water down there. Actually, no, we'll get some water now down here. We'll get the electricity down there from across the water. That's kind of, I guess, why I said water. And we'll go ahead and finish this out. So, boom! We have a completed stadium. Uh, the roads over here are not quite finished. There, now they're finished. And, uh, yeah, that's that. We'll go ahead and put a path up to here, I think. This actually works out pretty well. Like this, and then, like, mm, this. And then I'll go ahead and, while we wait, I guess, for a... The next match is on <laughs> the 29th of, what is that, July 2101. Wow. That is apparently the date soon here. I don't know what the date is because Rush Hour defaults this back. And the game thinks we're at a different date than Rush Hour thinks. So hopefully that gets fixed. If uh, Propane Dragon, if you're watching this one, maybe work on that. I'm not sure what's going on there. But hopefully this works. And then we can lower the ticket price. We can raise the ticket price by $10. Let's keep it at 30 You know what? No, let's stress test this. Let's put this at $25. I'm not sure when this match is actually going to take place. I'm hoping it's soon. But while I wait, I'll add a couple more parking lots throughout here. And how many can we fit in here? One, two, three. So, okay, that should work out perfectly for a one by in the middle. Uh, one by gap in the middle, I guess is what I'm trying to say. When I say something like that, um, we'll then finish these paths off. Oh, this is awesome. This is so cool over here. And, yes. Wow, check this out. People are already parking down here. I'm not sure why. They are visiting the double park. They're a tourist. They came all the way down to the stadium. And instead of sitting here and being like, wow, that stadium's really awesome. They're like, no. Check out this double park. There's a bench and there's tons of parking around and look at this tree it's so majestic yeah screw that stadium the double park is the shit anyway uh not something i would do i guess if i were in charge of that tourist's itinerary but um yeah there we go let's let's i don't know when the stadium is going to make a stadium event occur i hope it's soon um, do we want to do some tree work down here? Probably. A little bit of trees. These trees down here are... I think this tree I put in here. So yeah, let's stick with this tree down throughout here. And then, of course, we'll mix it in later with the forest that's up the hill. But yeah, we'll probably end up using mostly this tree throughout this double park. Or wow, no, the stadium district. Actually, speaking of districts, we should probably name this little district here. Um, also, we should make a uh, district over here 
for our airport. Our airport should be zoned in its own little district. Uh, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more later when we go through and actually finish the airport, but I'm planning on doing... Wow, I screwed that up royally there. Glade Square? No. Fawn District? No, I'll fix that in a minute after I name the Stadium District. There it is. I almost lost it. I hope we're not getting close to the district limit. I don't know what the district limit is, but I think someone told me at one point, and I think it was around 25. Aspen Park. That's not a bad stadium name uh, for a baseball field, but this is a soccer field. Or a football field, if you will. We need to go ahead and name this. Um, okay, let's look at this real fast here. To make it easier for fans to get to the stadium, public transportation is free on match days. Increased amount of visitors raises the odds of winning matches. That's interesting. You get that home field advantage because more people come to the stadium. That's really cool. Uh, match security. Hire security staff to patrol around the stadium, keeping crime low. $500 per week per stadium. How many stadiums can you have? One? Yes. So you, it's basically just $500 per week. Um, okay. And then, of course, we have... By spending money on training young players, the team has increased odds to win. Applies to all stadiums. Cost is $9,000 per week. Multiplied by the number of stadiums in the city. Wow. Okay. So I'm not sure if this stadium over here i'm assuming it is a stadium one-way base stadium i'm assuming that counts so it would basically be eighteen thousand dollars per week that is crazy amount of money to spend to get the young players to play uh soccer around the city so they grow up and imagine themselves playing soccer for the one-way bay soccer team we need to name our team uh, let's go ahead and get the match security. Okay, there is only one stadium in the city right now, I guess. So, that's pretty cool. I'm wondering if, since this is in a football uh, tab, I'm wondering if they're planning on implementing a different stadium. Um, we'll see, I guess. That'll be really cool later on. Okay, I'm not sure when this is going to go ahead and run. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what date it is. So, yeah, I guess we'll save the stadium match for next episode. Um, I'm gonna go through in between episodes and put a little bit more parking throughout this, this area. This whole thing is basically gonna become a big parking lot. Um, and hopefully, if, if a match starts, I'll just stop and I'll start recording right then. So, we'll figure this out. Actually, is it starting now? There's a lot of people coming down here. Why are they coming down here? They are coming down here to the double park. They are going to the parking lots. Yeah. They're just going to come down and check out the parking lots. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll save the match for next episode. We'll also get into a few more things around the city in next episode. So, uh, guys, stay tuned for that. Like this episode if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. But let me know why in the comments. And also in the comments, let me know what we should name not only this stadium, but also the One Way Bay soccer team. What should we name it? And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you then. Stay tuned.